Today's topic, brain-computer interface. <laughs> Not exactly a neural link, but available today for everybody. A couple of years ago, I did a video on how I controlled the world using Bluetooth buttons from my pocket. Well, the technology has progressed and we now have amazing Bluetooth earbuds. Uh, these are the Google Pixel Buds. There's a ton of great reviews out there. I'm not going to do a review. I'm just going to show you how I use them. So I, I taped one of the buds to my camera microphone so that you'll be able to hear what I hear. So the main use we have for them is listen to podcasts. I usually use just one bud per uh, at a time so that I can hear ambient things with my other ear not get run over. But also because that allows me to listen all day long. It says once it needs recharging, I put it in the case, take the other one out, and put it in my pocket and let it charge. So I easily get through a whole day from the charge that's in the case. So to control media like podcasts, it's single tap start. Guest today is an American whistleblower. I'll read his, <clears throat> my guest today, I'm gonna read his. Double tap to fast forward. He's an American whistleblower who copied and leaked high. It's uh, been like a year. Triple He's been like to uh, rewind. Good job, Rogan. Experience. Showing my day, Joe Rogan podcast. So, my night. One thing you definitely want to do if you're listening to something like Joe Rogan is play it at one and a half or two two x speed. I, I don't know what Joe Rogan really sounds like. I know what he sounds like in two or three x speed. The real magic happens when you use voice commands. The world's information at your fingertips. Your voice tips. Hey Google. What's the record number of simultaneous hurricanes? On the website weather.com, they say, four simultaneous named tropical storms or hurricanes has happened six other times since the 1960s. Do you want a little more context? Uh, no, thank you. So we're potentially going to break that this week. You can also augment your memory. Hey, Google, remind me to go climb Mount Everest tomorrow at 10 a.m. All right. I'll remind you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Or if you have something a little less time sensitive, you can use Google Keep. Hey, take a note to research why crowbars are called crowbars. Yeah, little prop. Saving note. Or if you want to communicate with family, you can broadcast. Uh, something like Google. Broadcast. What's the message? Helen, I'll be home in 42 microseconds. Let's give or take. All right, broadcasting now. Probably can't hear the house, but it's announcing over the speakers. And if you have a smart house, you can start talking to it, like, Hey Google, what are the house temperatures? 81 out, 77 in, 75 pond, 96 hot tub. If you don't like saying, hey G, you can also tap on the bud. Has the mail arrived today? No, mail has not arrived yet today. Mailbox updated 13 minutes ago. And if you happen to have some, a creek pump wired into your home automation system with the Z Wave relay, you can do something like <laughs> Google Prime the creek pump. Priming creek pump. Okay. So, we're lazy man's way of priming creek pumps. Uh, let me go inside and show you a couple other voice command examples. Uh, here's an example from last month's video. Hey Google, turn on the stove fan. Turn the stove fan. Turning stove fan on. Turn the stove fan off. Turning stove fan off. Here's an example of a fun light we have in our living room. Google, turn on the water lights. All right, it's turning on more the water light. Dramatic uh, at night. And maybe one last one from the window video of a couple months ago. Hey Google, crack open the bedroom window. One last comment on fit and durability. As you can see, they stay in pretty good from jogging or whatnot. I tried a different, cheaper set of earbuds last year and I didn't see it 
uh, very well at all. They do, they can fall out, however. Uh, unfortunately, I discovered that uh, when I was doing some maintenance on this pond, and they fell out rising right in the middle of it, and they went to the bottom of the pond. And I spent a couple hours trying to dredge them up. And actually, I did dredge up a bunch of muck and never did find them that day. So three days later, I saw hiding in the mud there my earbud. So I had actually dredged it up and it just needed to get washed off for me to find it. And uh, charged it up and it still worked. So I was impressed with the durability. So that's it for my earbud usage world of ear, ear tips video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.